it brings back a lot of memories, a lot of memories. When Frank Hudak, uh, 2004, how about that? Turns back the calendar to Christmas past. This is 2007. <clears throat> colorful reflections are captured in black and white. Uh, this is 2015, Style Weekly. Snippets and snapshots from memory lane line his Henrico home. All of these photos came from Richmond newspapers. You're bound to make headlines when you're known simply as Mr. Christmas. Good luck finding a blade of grass on Mr. Hudak's front lawn. I start about the middle of September. This time of year, dormant decorations dot every inch of his Wistar Court home. And a lot of them are out of print for a lot of years. I got some pieces out here that were made back in the early 60s. Most ornaments set up by Frank himself. I'm crawling around on this ground and I start to hurt in places I didn't even know I owned. It's a beloved holiday tradition stretching back half a century. When you're doing something like this, you really have to be dedicated. It isn't a matter of buying some lights and just throwing them in a bush and saying there. That doesn't work. Mr. Hudak is an original. The married father of two witnessed the birth of the Tacky Light Tour. When Christmas comes, the warmth of Christmas and the glow just brings people together. And I love that. He has been literally a pillar of the community. Neighbor Richard Bernard says Frank inspired him to make the season bright too. It's incredible the amount of people he alone drew to this cul-de-sac. Mr. Christmas even amps up his display by adding his very own FM radio station. Seems to add a whole lot more depth to our display. But when the sun goes down, the wattage goes up. That's when it's on. That's when I'm on, it's on, it's showtime. Hundreds of thousands of lights keep the neighborhood and Mr. Christmas himself radiating. Once you get past a certain age, you can explore your inner child. I'm Mr. Christmas, and I'll be out to greet you in just a few minutes. His glowing reputation even landed a clean-shaven Mr. Christmas on national television in 2006. And this is Christmas House Radio. When he comes out, he lights up with a smile because of the crowds. The former disc jockey and Henrico deputy takes the spirit of giving to heart. I love it. I absolutely love it. In 30 years, he has collected and donated more than $175,000 to the Virginia Home for Boys and Girls, every penny. I love this. I love being able to give Richmond and everyone else a gift. How popular is Frank's display? People from 38 states and 16 countries have all experienced his magic. I love being out here with the children when they come in, with the grandparents and the parents but a string of sadness hangs over Frank's home this year. I don't know how much I'm going to miss it just yet. I know that I will miss it. Father Time is catching up with Mr. Christmas. We've been a Richmond tradition for over 50 years. At 80, Mr. Hudak will unplug for good, marking the end of an era. Hey, we've got somebody okay. that'll take our picture. Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 Come on, guys. There comes a time in life, it's not never easy to do this, when you have to realize your limitations. It's definitely going to be a sad day when that last light goes out. Until then, though, he will make more memories. 51 years. <laughs> to last a lifetime. Yeah. I feel that this is one of the most important things that I've done in this world. So if you're hungry for a taste of nostalgia, swing by Wistar Corp this holiday season. This is our grand finale. Mr. Christmas will keep the lights on for you. <laughs> I hope that this will leave Richmond with wonderful, warm memories of the season. I really do.